Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here then welcome and if you are an original, welcome back. So today I thought I would do a video, especially as I'm feeling myself, I can't lie, I'm actually feeling myself today. I thought I'd make a little bit of an effort like because I'm getting sick of lockdown, I'm getting sick of looking in the mirror and being like Jesus God. <laughs> so here I am. So today I thought I would do a video on basically knowing your self-worth and remembering that you are the prize um i just want to say like i'm talking to everybody but my black women out there i can't even lie i feel like this is just between us right now just this little message right here it's okay to have someone look after you like and treat you right i feel like we've always been grown to like be strong be independent and just have your own which that is very essential as a woman yeah but it's okay to be treated to be treated a certain way like i feel like sometimes we forget that including myself not not now trust me but um it's okay it's okay i feel like generally we are raised to just be strong and independent and that's great but i feel like that should be in you so that if anything happens you're good but not literally to live your life like that um it's okay to to have a weak moment too like we are always told to be strong but realistically speaking we're human so i just wanted to say that first to my to my black girls to my black women and just this is just to everybody now like just as girls in general do not forget that you are the prize i feel like we are living in a generation where like men can have girls just like that so we kind of feel like if i have standards then cool like he can just go to somebody else which is fine and i think at first i don't get me wrong i know there's someone like yeah but that gets a lot that gets annoying that gets long when you're just by yourself for time but at the same time no you should be treated like the princess that you are and that's not to say that yeah that like they're nothing they just need to treat you right obviously you treat your man when he treats you like you're the queen you are like the king he is but yeah i thought i would just do this because i'm not gonna lie forgetting my self-worth sorry about the background noise where people were disrespecting me my friends were disrespecting me my man was disrespecting me i felt like everybody was disrespecting me and that is and that is all due to self-worth i feel like when you forget who you are people then decide how they want to treat you you teach people how to treat you from what you allow and I got told this a long time ago but it's only like now i'm actually getting it like you genuinely as soon as someone does something that you don't like you need to s s like literally say it from the get-go don't say it weeks down the line months down the line because all it does is harbor up harbor up and then the time you actually express it they're just like whoa and then probably the way that you express it is off and then you probably have to apologize for the way that you've expressed it to them so 100 percent when somebody does something that you don't like from the get-go say it like friends or your man or your family members say it i feel like i've really been working on boundaries the last like two years of my life i'd say since hunter was born i've really worked on boundaries and if someone doesn't respect certain boundaries of mine i'm like you gotta go like sometimes i'm a bit strict and people are like okay karina you can't just be cutting off people left right and center but like there's a certain boundaries that if you just generally are just i've told you you're still doing it i told you again you're still doing it bye bye and as like dating now, I am going to always remember that I am the prize because that's another thing I feel like in a few of my relationships, not all, I forgot like I'm the prize. Like men feel like they are the prize because girls like, whether you want to hate me for this comment, it's so easy for them to just move on and to sleep with people that they don't mind to just lock you off just like that because someone else will have them. They're forgetting that we are the prize. I just generally want you guys too deep like we're the prize because when you forget that and you forget your self-worth you genuinely can start to allow really bad stuff to happen to you like abuse physical abuse mental abuse whatever um verbal abuse and people for some reason think that if you're like really really strong that um you you can't get yourself in a physical a physical 
abusive relationship and actually the older i'm getting i'm realizing it's actually the really the strong people the people that you think oh never i could never be her like she would never have it that it happened to um i'm not going to go on into too much detail but even myself like people consider me very strong very confident independent which i am all them things but i did find myself in a relationship where i was like just not respected the way i wanted to be respected not getting treated the way i wanted to be treated but that person did know that i liked to be treated like a princess they like i like to be treated in a certain way so when i would be like i'm out i'm gone that's when they would do them things and it's only like now i'm looking back that i'm like oh raw like they would only fix up when they were scared of losing me but when they got me back they would just go back into this person that i completely hated i don't know how long this video is going to be i don't know what i'm going to say i haven't like planned this video but i felt it was really really important because i feel like as women especially as the years go on it's just men are changing and we are changing but i just really want to go back to the old school way of remembering that we are the prize and if you're not willing to do a b and c to get me that's fine go and have somebody else and um when i had hunter i kind of lost myself a little bit at first because i was like oh my god i'm a mom like hopefully someone will want me and then i was like hold on a minute my friend was like you are karina you are karina b baby like have you forgot that and i was just like yeah like i'm still a mom i don't understand i got called an escort and i was like me like me i don't understand like i'm not on only fans i'm not on these websites what where did you get that from and this specific guy was like you act like an escort because every single time i want to meet up with you you won't just come to my house like you're always like well, where are you gonna take me and it's not to say i'm one of them girls that i'm like so so any nando's oh i'm not coming but i'm not coming to just chill at your house um no take me out and if not that's absolutely fine like i'm not fast either way so yeah i got called in a school and at first i was like and i kind of took a bit and then i was just like do you know what you're so used to girls just coming to you and doing whatever for nothing that you're gonna call me an escort because i'm saying well where are you gonna take me like what i was so confused another thing that i do is like even though i drive if someone wants to take me out i expect that they're gonna like pick me up or they're gonna like find a way we get into this place uh, okay that can be adjusted <laughs> but yeah he was just like you're an s like you move like an escort i feel like you are an escort and he was coming for me and i was like whoa okay like but then i thought to myself do you know what even if that is what you want to call me that's absolutely fine but there's other guys that will do it so it's like if you don't want to do that that's fine but i'm not going to lower myself to the standard that you're at just because it, you're comfortable with that like no i will date the guys that are happy to take me out take me to nice places and like i said i'm not saying that you can't take me to like i don't mind but <laughs> In moderation i just i just feel like you should if you want me you should be pursuing me and um you should be taking me out i have this expectation that on the first date a guy should pay after that cool like we can go halves um but i don't feel like i go on the second date if i'm not interested because i have had somebody come after me in um one of my I think was it a live or a podcast i can't remember something i did like last year a guy was like yeah but guy and um, girls will go on several dates with you and after you done spend however much money that's when they want to come and tell you that they're not interested and then i thought okay yeah that is a bit of a piss take for a guy that's putting all this effort taking you here and there and then you're just not interested so yeah i can get why a guy would be like like i'm not doing it again but me that first date is the effort that first date shows me the effort of your interest in me so yeah if you're just like oh yeah do you want to come to mine i'm already like later um yeah even my like not my friends now but my old friends like if your friends with would say like queen your chest is bare high like you literally need to like allow it because guys are just not gonna be interested but i've always found myself meeting guys that do these things for me so i think it's kind of like what you expect and even though i expect it i have come across guys like this guy that was like you are an escort i'm sorry like you won't just buck a guy and chill if i've if i've if you've taken me on a few dates i like you we have a nice vibe then yeah i don't mind coming and chilling with you sometimes but i'm not just coming on the first couple of days to just chew in your house like no i'd rather just chill in my own house like i don't understand so i want to know what you guys think like well not is it an escort because i know that isn't an escort i mean escorts get paid <laughs> firstly i don't i mean if you want to pay me 
<laughs> but yeah like escorts get paid this is the actual job i'm just saying if you want to show an interest in me that should be the first step that you do not invite me to your house or not telling me to come to your brethren's or not telling me to come in your car to chill like <laughs> like i generally feel so confused and i feel like guys go off of how you act because although the guy said this to me um like a couple months down the line when he realized i really don't mind he was like okay cool like should we go here and i don't know if he thought okay i'll just do what i need to do to like get her but nah like i'm not stupid <laughs> i'm not stupid but i'm not saying other people are but i'm just saying like as girls it's okay to have um standards i wouldn't even say my standards are actually high i would just say i have standards and i'm not just gonna just come and chill with you i'm not trying to be your brethren i don't understand i don't know like i just feel like i like the old school way of a man pursuing a woman i like to be pursued i like to be treated nice and i feel like when you remember you're the prize you get treated like the prize i'll give a prime example years ago when i was young i would just date people i wouldn't have these kind of things in in place i would just buck them chill with them chill with their friends fine whatever and they never felt this great need to really take me out but i didn't require it and the second i was like well actually this is what i want in a relationship or this is what i like to do are you willing to do these things um then i could see who was not really not even that serious because sometimes someone is serious but for whatever reason maybe they can't afford it i don't know but i do think in order to date you have to have money and that's boy and girl because i'm not saying that you have to pay for everything although i like a guy that can um but i just feel to date it is expensive because you it's obviously taking money out of your money to do something so it is expensive especially if you want to see that person on multiple times in a week that's why i don't really moan or care about where it is per se but we just cannot be going to a house i'm so sorry and i know like a lot of guys in lockdown are like yeah well it's lockdown <laughs> I'll, I'll buck you and we're out of it like no um or i'll be like we'll make an effort in indoors like cook for me wine and dye me and let me just give an example actually like i said it to a guy okay cool because i realized we're going to be in this lockdown for a hot minute so <laughs> you might want to lower your standards girl just just a tad and he actually was like okay well let's get um i'll get some food in i'll get like a hot tub out like let me see if i can book this book that and this is coming from a guy yeah that he gets loads of girls like i mean girls just drop at just like that for him and it was it's hard because he is nice i can't lie he's very very nice he's very very good looking um but once again i have to remember and you i want you guys to remember that you are the prize if you move like everybody else you get treated like everybody else and i said like mm, he was honest he told me he was seeing loads and loads and loads of girls and i was like put off massively like um mm. then i thought but i don't even really want you like that anyway so cool but I thought, but I'm not going to be treated just like everybody else. And I don't want anyone watching this to think, oh, I think I'm better than other people. I just feel like it's an individual thing. If you move like the crowd and you do what everybody else is doing, then you're going to get, if the police come, everybody's going to get arrested. If you move different, then it might be a different outcome for you. So, yeah, and it doesn't really, I don't know if that really makes sense. But, yeah, like, I just feel like try to move a bit different from everybody else. Have something a bit different about you. Um... But yeah, this specific person was like, yeah, like I'm in 2021, I'm doing me, I'm out there, I'm being single, I'm having my fun, I ain't taking no girl seriously, I'm not taking no girl on no dates, da, 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 da. And I was like, oh, is it? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and he was just like, oh, like, just insinuating, like, I like you. And I was just like, well, we would never wear because I am not about to join your list of 500,000 girls. Um, and he was like, okay, but that's fine, isn't it? we did talk for a minute and then he come back and he was like obviously like <laughs> he was like okay what would you do if i booked us a little getaway and i thought hmm isn't this the same person that was adamant that they're not going to and whether it happened or it didn't i will not be saying but it just i'm saying like i'm saying it to show you that sometimes when you move a little bit different you get a different outcome and obviously the things that he was willing to do he was not doing for other people because he doesn't have to do you get what i mean but i feel like that's why it's okay to be like well actually if you want me a b and c and if you don't want to do a b and c that's fine it kind of just eliminates all these people that are just trash anyway obviously there are people that are like genuinely nice people but for whatever reason they can't afford it or they're just not in that position to be able to do these things um 
and I would say I'm not closed off to people that cannot be taking me out all the time that's not really what I'm trying to say but it's that initial effort it's about the effort your effort is a reflection of how you feel about me so yeah I kind of just wanted to just do a quick video on self-worth remembering your self-worth remembering especially as black women it's okay like it's okay to do these things and act like this other people I'm so sorry other people do it and it's okay it's okay for you too to yeah like have up your standard I, i'm not gonna lie like not every guy you're gonna meet it, you care if it's like a serious thing but even the ones that you're not even that serious about make them make a little bit of an effort don't just lower yourself literally to zero for them um so yeah i hope this video was useful to someone um just like i said remembering you are the prize and the man will treat you like the prize and if you don't remember you're the prize or you don't even know that you're the prize then do not date yet because then people will like place you where they think you are and if you like the thing is your gut will tell you when you know that you're you're getting treated in a way that you don't really deserve listen to it um i'm not saying that you have to do exactly what i'm doing that's just how i am but i just feel like as women 100 percent, don't forget you're the prize and just don't forget your self-worth please just don't forget your self-worth i'm not even gonna lie guys because as girls i feel like we do it so much especially for someone that we really really like because i'm not gonna lie with this guy i slightly twigged my little standard because i thought oh he is a bit of me but like, he's actually really nice but then i thought nah because if i move just like these girls why on earth should he treat me different if you make it a requirement it will happen and if it doesn't then he's just not for you that's the way i see it and luckily for me like i have guy friends in it so i will talk to them and say Da, 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 da. and he'd be like you know he just he's just trying to bang <laughs> or like he he's just saying that for this reason so i have sometimes have a guy friend not a guy friend that you've done stuff with because he's going to be biased a guy friend i find it really hard to have guy friends um because they always end up liking me or have i liked a guy friend no because if i like you from the get go i'm not trying to make you my friend but like i don't i really hate when my guy friends turn around and say like oh yeah i actually like you because then i feel like i can't even come to you like like that but luckily for me i have an actual two guy friends who it's not that it's never been that they're like no ew, like they would not go there with me um and i like that to be honest i really like that um try have a guy friend because guys will be honest guys will tell you he's he's just trying to gash you out he's just trying to be da 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 um so yeah that's that's kind of like where i really what uh kind of what i wanted to say in this video it's just like remembering who you are because when you don't it can end really bad um i was in a relationship with somebody who when i started to like when i went in i was very confident very sexy very like uh, uh, like ah, uh, yeah like i loved myself loved myself maybe a bit too much but i loved myself and i think i don't know if at first they liked it and then they just didn't but i felt like everything i loved about myself they would really put down to the point where i started like to not like them qualities about myself um and just question a lot about myself and i felt like they got me to such a place where i just i didn't even know who i was and that's basically what i don't want for you guys if you ever feel like you're losing yourself or you're changing sometimes that is a bit of a red flag change can be good but change can be bad if someone is changing you to act like something you're not so yeah um now i didn't want this video to be too too long so i just thought i'd do a quick video on self-worth self-love i'm gonna do another how to be confident video because my last one from like i think two years ago a lot of people loved it oh i'm so sorry about the background noise i don't know what's going on in my house but yeah a lot of people loved it a lot of people are like oh my god literally love this video um so i'm gonna do another part two to that and elaborate on things that i didn't i don't think i was 100 percent clear on in that video so yeah this year i want us to level up financially physically emotionally and just be 10 10 at the end of this year so i hope this was useful for somebody if you're feeling a bit rubbish in lockdown sometimes just putting a bit of makeup put on a bit of makeup put some music on and just tidy up because i'm not gonna lie it's been a struggle in these streets but yes i'm gonna love you and i'm gonna leave you um don't forget to like comment subscribe and share my videos it really really does help and don't forget to comment like 100 percent comment i comment back it goes down in my comments we have little conversations so yeah all right guys bye oh another thing is don't forget to comment down below what you want me to see what you want to see in the future or what you want me to do next week that's what i'm trying to do communicate with you guys in the comment section 
but yeah <laughs> i'm gonna go bye guys